Let me show you how to upload your InDesign layouts to Adobe Express and use a brand new plugin to create beautiful digital flipbooks. Follow along and learn how to export a PDF from InDesign, upload it to Express, and convert it to a flipbook with Simple Booklet's new extension. We'll also take a closer look at how to update documents seamlessly between Express and Simple Booklet. So let's jump right into this video and get started. Here's the InDesign document we'll be exporting as a PDF and uploading to Adobe Express. You can see I have a front cover and back cover as well as a center spread for our bifold brochure. The first thing I want to do is go up to File and then choose Export. Now the Save As name will be the same name as the InDesign document. If you want to give it another name you can do so, I'll leave it as is. Ensure that the format is set to Adobe PDF Print and then click Save. Under the export options, under pages, ensure that all is selected because we want to export all the pages in our document. Next to export as, ensure that the pages option is selected. Ensure that the optimize for fast web view option is also checked. And underneath, if you have hyperlinks included in your document, ensure that that is also selected. So the links are recognized not only in Adobe Express, but also in Simple Booklet when we convert it to a digital flipbook. Once you have those settings in place, go ahead and click Export. I'm on Adobe Express for web, and really you have two options when creating content here. First, you could choose from thousands of templates depending on what you're creating. For example, you can click on Document, and you have templates for flyers, resume, poster, and the list goes on and on. You can also start from scratch with your own content. And you have that option here by clicking this button, start from your own content. So I'm going to click that and select the PDF that we just exported from InDesign and click open. That'll take a few moments to upload to the Adobe Express platform. Once it's been uploaded, go ahead and click open. The pages will be uploaded in the order of the InDesign document, but you can change that by clicking this icon in the upper right hand corner to view all pages. That will show you all four pages in the bifold brochure, and then you could just click and drag in the order that you want. So I want that to be the cover. I'm gonna move page two, and then page three as the center spread, and there's my back page. Once you have the pages in the order that you want, just click this arrow to go back to the main document, and you can see they're now in the order that I want. The other nice thing about Adobe Express is, if you're exporting a PDF from InDesign, Photoshop, or even Illustrator, all the layers will carry over with the document, or the PDF in this case. If you're not seeing the layers on the right hand side, you can access that by clicking this icon here, Layers, and it'll show you all the layers. So for example, I can click the logo and move it to another area, or I can resize it. That's the really neat thing about Express is once it's carried over from any of those platforms, you could still add edits here. We'll come back to Express in a few moments, but I want to show you how to now convert this into a digital flipbook using Simple Booklet's new extension, which is integrated here in Express. To install the Simple Booklet extension, let's click on the add-ons icon here on the left side menu, and then search Simple Booklet. You can see I've gone ahead and already installed the Simple Booklet extension. Once you've added it, you'll see it here in your add-ons. I'm gonna go ahead and click it, and you can see that the Simple Booklet extension launches within the Adobe Express application. The first order of business is choosing a flip style. Now as a default, it's going to default as a double soft cover. You have card flip, trifold flip if it was a trifold brochure. There are some other ones down below, double board, double hard cover, calendar, many to choose from. For this, I'm gonna stick with double soft cover. Because this is a spread, this one works well for the bifold brochure. So I'm gonna select that and then click export document. Again, this'll take a few minutes to convert from Express to the simple booklet platform. The flipbook is now ready to view, so I'm gonna click open in simple booklet and that'll take us to the simple booklet platform. 
you're able to preview the flipbook and you can see with that page effect, this bifold brochure already looks really good. But Simple Booklet allows you to add interactive elements like buttons, forms, video, and much more to enhance the communication and marketing strategy for your digital flipbook. For example, I'm gonna click on the edit button. That'll launch the digital flipbook editor where I can add things like buttons, images, video, and so on. And in this case, I wanna show you how to add a buy now or purchase button to this bifold brochure. So I'm just going to slide over to the third page and scroll down. And I'm gonna add three separate buttons next to these products. I'm gonna make my way up to the buttons icon. Go ahead and click that. And the button we wanna add is buy, the shopping cart. This is really neat because you can highlight your products within a brochure like this. Now, because these are fictitious products, I'm just going to add the express.adobe.com URL. Then you could choose how the product opens. Do you want it to open in a light box, in a new tab, or open within the current tab. In this case, I'm just going to leave it on open in a new tab and click save. You can see that drops the button right onto the page where you can just drag it to the area that you want. Now just keep note of the X and Y. The X doesn't matter as much, but I want to keep these buttons on the same Y axis. And so let's just keep it at 1110 and release. Then you can copy command C and then Command V, and drag the second one to the second product. Again, 1,110 for the Y axis, just to keep the same consistent look. Release, and then Command V to add another one. Click it, and then drag it to the third one. And we wanna keep it at 1,110 for the Y axis, and release. To edit the URL within a button, simply double click and you can edit the URL here. So I'll just type in google.com as an example and click save. Now that URL has been updated. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add a form to the contact page. So I'm going to shift over to the last page and I wanna use this negative space in the image here to add a form. So I'm gonna click on forms. There are two options here a form builder to build your own or choose from already built templates. I'm gonna choose the latter. In step one, you're gonna add an email address to send completed forms to. And in step two, you're gonna choose the actual form to drop on the page. You can see this first example has an email and then a text box, how we can help. Same with the second. I like the third one here, email, phone, how we can help and a send button. So I'm gonna click that and you can actually just drag it right onto the page. Now I want to align the width of the form with the yellow shape below. And you can do that by simply dragging these handles and aligning it with the shape. Something like that looks pretty good. I also want to change this text where it says contact us to white. So just double click and then change the fill color to white. And instead of contact us, I want to type let's connect. Great, our form has been set up. Let's go ahead and preview the flipbook by clicking the preview button in the upper right hand corner. That'll launch the project in preview mode. I'm going to flip over to the center spread and you can see that the shopping cart buttons, the buy now buttons that we placed, lit up when the page was launched. I can click on one of the buttons and it takes us to the URL that we specified. In this case, it was google.com. And if I flip over to the last page, you can see that the form has been placed on top of the image. Let's jump back over to Adobe Express and make a few updates to the document. The purpose of this is to show you how easy it is to make changes to the original PDF and replace the existing flipbook, all while maintaining the interactivity. I'm back in Adobe Express now and the client that I've designed this brochure for has asked for three changes. First, they'd like the logo to be bigger because why not? They'd like to change collection to collections in the main title. And if I flip over to the second page, they'd like to have some shapes behind these chairs. In this next step, I'm gonna show you how to make these changes and re-upload the digital flipbook to Simple Booklet. So let's go back to the cover page and start with the logo. I'm gonna click it and simply just drag out to the left 
to make it a little bit bigger. That one's done. I'm gonna double click in this text frame and add an S and make the text frame a little bit bigger to make that fit. Good. The first two changes have been completed. Let's go to the third page and add our shapes. We're gonna add circle shapes behind all three chairs and to do that, let's click on the elements button in the main menu. And then from the options up top, let's choose shapes and let's click this first circle. That'll drop one circle right onto the page. We can position it where we want, in this case, over the first chair. I'm also going to make that a little bit smaller and we'll center it something like that. Looks good. I also wanna change the fill color of this from black to this gold color in the bottom left-hand corner. To do that, click the fill color, then select the eyedropper tool and let's sample the gold from that shape Perfect. I'm also going to hold my option key down, that would be Alt on Windows, and drag another copy in the center, and repeat that process, option, and drag one more copy. We could select all three, move them up a bit. We can also make sure that they're aligned, so let's click this align, and we want to distribute the horizontal centers. And then with all three still selected, hold Command, that would be control on windows and your left square bracket three times to send all three to the back. Also, if you like, we could change the opacity a bit so it's not so dark on the page, maybe 75%. Now that we have our circle shapes behind the chairs, we can go ahead and convert the digital flipbook again. Let's go back to add-ons and then let's click simple booklet once again. Now you'll notice it says replace existing simple booklet or save as a new simple booklet. We want to choose the first one, replace existing simple booklet. It'll recognize the same PDF and replace the existing file. Once you've uploaded the new PDF, we can go ahead and open in simple booklet again. And let's take a look. Two things to note before we convert this new document is we want to replace the existing file. As a default, it'll already be set to that file. However, there are other flipbooks here that you can choose from. We want to replace the one we were working on previously. We also want to keep all previously added enhancements. Remember we added the buy now buttons as well as the form? Those will still be intact when we replace and convert the new file. The page flip will remain at page spread and we'll keep the page curl page effect as well. Once we have those settings, Let's click convert. That'll take a few moments once again to re-upload and replace the existing file. And we'll take a final look. So here's our updated document with the bigger logo, the collections, plural. If I flip over to the center spread, we have our circles behind the chairs, but have a look, all those enhancements we added originally remain intact. There are the purchase buttons and the form that we placed on the back page. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to upload InDesign layouts to Adobe Express and convert them to flipbooks using Simple Booklet's new plugin. If you'd like to learn more about interactive design and digital flipbook content, check out these videos. Until next time, take care and keep creating.